Alrighty, so today I'm going to be drawing an anime girl with a massive creepy smile on her face. That is the plan at least, and I'm hoping that this drawing turns out to be much more creepy than not. A couple days ago, I drew a little bit of a sketch of kind of my idea for this drawing, and I'm looking forward to seeing how it turns out when I actually try to draw it, not as a very rough sketch, but actually as a real drawing, per se, quote unquote. Today, I'm going to be drawing in my Soho Urban Artist Brick sketchbook, and today I'm going to be drawing with my Kawako Frosted Sport ballpoint pen with a Pilot High Tech C Slim 0.4 millimeter insert inside of it. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get my sketchbook all opened up. And before I go ahead and flip to the nearest open page, I first off want to go ahead and show you guys the little bit of the sketch I did. So this is the sketch I did a couple days ago now, and this is kind of what I'm thinking I want my character to look like. I want the character to have like really long, lanky, um, sort of like um, almost, I'd have to say like ghost-like proportions or something like that kind of thing, or like Slenderman proportions. And then I want the long hair, very uh, sort of, uh, very, <clears throat> what's the right way of putting it? Very sort of like sketchy eyes, sketchy look as a whole. And of course, a very big mouth with some maybe big teeth. I'm trying to figure out if I want to do big teeth with this drawing or small teeth, but either way, they're going to be pointy teeth. And then kind of a, a lack of details other than that is kind of the plan for this drawing. Without further ado, let's go ahead and flip to the nearest open page. And let's go ahead and actually give this a go, though, and see how it actually turns out. So now that I am on the nearest open page, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just roll down my sleeves just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and actually get my pen all ready to draw with. And now let's go ahead and start this character off with the hair, I do think. So let's just kind of go down just like that kind of thing. Just like that. Go and do a little bit of a jawline right there. I'm thinking the hair, I might have done it down too much. I am just going to complete this sketch, though, just, just a little bit, just so I can complete it later if I want to. But I'm thinking I might want to restart in just a little bit. Well, I don't think it's quite what I'm looking for, so I think I am going to do another drawing, but this is definitely still a better drawing than not, and it is a drawing that I like more so than not, but it's not quite what I'm looking for. I definitely do want the smile to be a little bit bigger, a little bit more creepy, and so I am going to go ahead and try this again. I think really the main issue where I messed up with this drawing is I think I want the edges of the hair to be a little bit longer so the jaw can come down a little bit more, and then the hair in the middle was just too long going all the way down, but I don't think this drawing looks bad by any means. It's just not quite what I'm looking for. Let's go ahead and try again, though.
And there we go. That's a little bit more creepy. And I will admit, I was kind of, and I was kind of honestly thinking about not doing the nose, but the nose honestly kind of makes this look more creepy. I am pretty satisfied with how this looks. I am indeed. This looks a little bit more creepy than not. A little bit more creepy than not. And I am, I am much more happy with this drawing than not. I like how this drawing looks. I will admit. Well, let's go ahead and uh, well start finishing up the drawing now. Uh, now that I've done the main sketch of this drawing, I do think the next thing I need to do is I need to start going over all of the lines again. Then after that, I'm going to go ahead and add some more details. And then after that, I am, well, going to be done with the drawing. So, excuse me. First off, I need to go ahead and go over every single line again just to make it look a little bit more distinct and whatnot. And a little bit more sketchy and maybe a little bit more creepy as well. Alrighty though, y'all, we are now approaching um, the end of being needing, well, what, what am I saying kind of thing. We are now approaching the finish of, not the drawing, but just of having to go over all of the lines again. There's still a bunch of details I need to add to this drawing, and I do need to go over some of the lines again just to make them look a little bit more sketchy, a little bit more distinct. Some of the details I'm going to be doing are uh, include or are include, I'm getting my words all jumbled up today, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. But some of the details I'm gonna be doing include, but are not limited to, I'm gonna be shading the hair just a little bit. I'm also gonna be adding some uh, little uh, bits of like, um, some sort of like little details on the teeth and stuff like that kind of thing. And that is pretty much the basic plan for the details. Other than that, maybe add a little bit, like some lines and stuff like that kind of thing, just to make it just look a little bit more sketchy. Just like I'm doing right now. I think that's probably a good idea. And just a little bit of cross hatching on the on the shorts as well. Let's go ahead and just go over that line again and that line again. Alrighty, now let's go ahead and start covering the details for the hair, which is just the shading of the hair itself.
Alrighty, now I'm gonna go ahead and do just another layer on the mouth itself. Since the mouth is really the focus of this drawing, I'm just trying to make it look absolutely perfect. Let's go ahead and go over the teeth as well. Hey, right, all righty. <laughs> really, I've been focusing so much um, that I'm just, honestly, I'm like, I'm like focusing on drawing so much and then I'm like, okay, I need to say something. And then I'm like, what, wait a minute, how do I even speak again? I just forget how to speak. But, but, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this drawing. I think I have succeeded in drawing a, uh, a creepy anime girl with a massive smile. I think I've succeeded in today's video. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. There are some other things I kind of want to fix, like the shading on this side being a little bit lighter than this side with the hair and whatnot. So I'm just going to go and fix some of that real quick. Other than that, though, there's really not much um, to worry about fixing. I think that's pretty much it in all honesty. And there we go. I think that is the drawing all done. I think one other thing, I might want to thicken up this line just a little bit. Just like that kind of thing. I think that's just about it though. Yeah, I think that's just about it. Well, you know, I don't think there's anything left for me to want to draw. This is the drawing I drew in today's video, which is, well, the creepy anime girl with a creepy smile on her face. Can't remember the title of this video in all honesty. Either way, though, I am very happy with this drawing. It has turned out to be exactly what I wanted. I think I, I took what I sketched over here and improved on it dramatically. I am very happy with how this turned out. So, uh, well, certainly no complaints on my behalf. That is for sure. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this drawing. Do you guys like it? Do you guys not? Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any constructive criticism as well. And, of course, please make sure to, well like and subscribe for more content. I have my uh, Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. Box, and my, if this can focus, I'm trying to get it to focus. I have my Instagram, my merch, my book, my P.O. Box, and my uh, main channel, all in the description down below. Go check it all out. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, y'all. Till the next one, well, stay safe and peace, and have a great one. Yes, sir, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying.